Hello, art students. Uh, this is Miss Hawkins, and I want to show you real quickly how to do your Indian corn activity. I'm starting in the floor because you also will start in the floor, and you're going to take your shoe off and trace your foot. So uh, here I am with my shoe off, and I'm squatted down, tracing my foot. Okay, so just real carefully, you're going to hold your pencil straight up and down. Just trace around your foot. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is Indian corn. Okay, so it does not have to be perfect. It's a corn, a cob of corn. Okay, so you're going to write your name on the back. It's a little hard to see. I'm going to try to trace over it just a little. Okay, have a very large foot. Okay, so then you're going to take it looks long like a piece of corn or a cob of corn so this is an exemplar of the Indian corn and we're looking at Native American artwork so you have some water and your sub is going to give you three q-tips okay and using these q-tips is what we're going to be using to paint your corn okay hence your foot so of course after you draw your foot you're going to get back in your chair, put your shoe back on, and get back in your chair. And I hope that you guys are behaving nicely for your subs, okay? I hate that I'm not there with you, but I can't be, and I miss you very much. But I want you to be behave and remember your expectations, being most respectful, responsible, and safe, okay? Be even more respectful to your sub than you are to me okay remember to be respectful okay so to paint your indian corn if you think about corn it is um in rows okay so we're going to do colors and indian corn has many different colors okay and you've seen that already in the in your other video okay so i'm just dipping my q-tip in the water like this okay just dipping it wetting it okay just like you will a paintbrush when you're using these paints remember you have to wet your paintbrush okay so i've wetted my q-tip and now i'm going to rub onto the paint just twirl it remember how i taught you even how to kind of twirl your brush and keep your bristles straight well you're still going to kind of twirl and rub and rub to get lots of paint onto your q-tip and i for the indian corn i think i would like to use colors like maybe the orange and yellow uh brown maybe a little black and red maybe even some purple okay so then we're going to start now this q-tip is a great tool like a sponge okay to dot your paint it's like a little sponge tool and you can do this in rows okay so if you want to do some different rows if you want a variety of different colors then you might I feel like that's hard to see okay so i can if i have rubbed my paint quite a bit then i can do a lot of paint from that rubbing of the q-tip i'm still I still have a lot of paint because I rubbed it quite a bit. Now, your sub is only going to give you three Q-tips, okay? So, use them wisely <clears throat> and rub them a lot onto the paint. Now, if I have three Q-tips, then I can ha actually have six colors, one, two, on each Q-tip because I don't want to just use this end not use this in and just throw it away okay and please don't throw away unused q-tips that would be not very resourceful in our art classroom okay and we got to have enough of these for all of our kindergarten first grade okay so now i'm going to use the other end dip it in the water you're using your wash cups and then i might choose a different color maybe purple this time okay and i'm twirling rubbing rubbing 
had to get a lot of paint onto what is now your sponge. Okay, now I'm going to start back again and do more rows. Now your sub is also going to show you how to do this. Okay, so pay close attention. And she will help you if you need help with your shoes. But be very respectful. And remember when we're learning about different cultures, we don't poke fun or laugh at our videos. Always remember to be respectful also of people that are different from us. The Native Americans were the people here before us. And we should be respectful learning about them. Okay. So the purple is not lasting quite as long. But that's okay. I've still got four more colors. And it still actually has a little bit left. Now when I'm finished with my Indian corn. Then now this one's spent. It's finished. It's all done. I'm going to make a dirty pile. Okay. And I'll throw those away when we're all done. Okay. I've wetted my paint my paintbrush not my paintbrush but i'm painting with a q-tip today my q-tip <clears throat> wet it good and then we'll try the yellow so i'm gonna twirl 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 rub 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 the yellow okay and then i'm gonna go back and make some rows my foot's really large so <laughs> i'm gonna take a lot of dots to make mine and that one's running a little had a lot of water. That's okay. So notice I'm just making dots for my corn. And when we're done, it's nice and colorful. And now you'll have your own unique Indian corn. Don't tell anybody, it's actually your foot. So when I'm all done, it's going to be all filled in here. It's all lines, okay? Not like someone's ate your corn, but I have another Q-tip with two more sides and this one also, okay, with that one. So when you're finished, this whole thing will be filled in nice and pretty Indian corn. Okay, thank you guys. Remember to behave and be respectful and I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.